Good morning, fellow guitar players. My name is Julie. I've got a song for you. We are going to learn how to play Being for the Benefit of Mr. Kite by the Beatles off their Sgt. Pepper record. Now, you might be thinking, how do I play this song? It's crazy. There's so many things going on. Well, I'm going to break it down for you. Um, once you get the chords and the patterns, it's not as hard as it looks, and it's actually really, really fun. Let's start. So, our intro, we're going to need these four chords. B flat, A major, D minor, and G. The strumming pattern I'm going to use is kind of a shuffle, kind of a... So I'm like going to pick down up like that in a swing time. So that was B flat, A major. Then I'm going to hold out on D minor for two beats, and then hold on G for two beats. So the whole intro sounds like this. And now we are ready to get into the first part of our song. So we need these chords. C minor on the third fret, and then we're going to play a G augmented. Now, the easy way to play this chord, what I do is I take my first finger, move it to the third fret of the E string, take that pinky off, leave the rest of my fingers where they were for that C minor chord, and I've got this. And so you have your sharp five right there. So C minor, and then G augmented, and then we go to B flat, D minor, G. So all together that sounds like this, C minor, G augmented, B flat, D minor, G. We're going to strum for two measures. And then we go back to our C minor. G augmented, B flat, D minor, and then we go to A major. Strum that for one. Now, for that sort of next B section, it's like an A, A, B, A, C, D, a whole bunch of stuff going on in the song, but for the next section, we go to D minor. Then D minor 7, so we're going to bar that first fret. We go B flat, A flat, back, sorry, not A flat, A major. What am I thinking? A major, back to D minor. So all together, that sounds like this. And then we go to G minor, A major, D minor. We repeat that again, G minor, A major, and D minor. We're going to hold out that D minor again on two for the turnaround, and then we go to G. And now we are in two our second verse, which repeats it. So I'm going to go through this a little faster, but say the chords. So C minor, G augmented, B flat, D minor, G. Two measures. C minor, G augmented, B flat, D minor, A. D minor, D minor 7, B flat, A, D minor. G minor, A, and now we are here at the Harry the Horse dancing the waltz part. So, our waltz. Let's talk about that for a second. Um, our strumming is just going to be pick, down, down, like so. The first four chords you're going to need for this um, is a walk down on this B string. 
all taken off a D minor shape. So the first chord, D minor. Second chord, you're gonna slide that third finger back to the second fret of the B, so you get a D diminished seven. Then you're gonna borrow that first finger again to get D minor seven. And then you're gonna move that first finger back off the B string, keep it on the E first fret for D minor six. And the whole thing sounds like this. And then we go to A major. Two more times. Then we go back to our little line cliche, our little walk down, D minor, D diminished seven, D minor seven, D six, and then we're gonna go to B minor, or B major, sorry, for two measures. And that leads us to E minor, again, then C for one, B, repeat it, E minor, C, B, E minor. And then we have our turnaround to our third, I guess we could call it verse, and that's on the key, our chord of G. And our strumming pattern for this is gonna be down, up, down, up, down, down, really fast, like this. And then we go back to C minor, G augmented, B flat, D minor, G. C minor, G augmented, B flat, D minor, A. D minor, D minor seven, B flat, A, D minor. G minor, A. And then we go back into that waltz very briefly on D minor. And then we go to G minor. And then here's an interesting weird little chord. Um, we're going to play an A major flat nine. So what I'm doing is I'm making an A major shape with my first, second, third finger on the second fret of the D, G, and B strings. I'm taking my pinky and I'm putting it on the third fret of the G string to get that B flat like this. So it just happens like this. So I'm gonna take it from the little waltz parts one more time. Then. And now we come to our ending, our little outro, which is going to be the same chords as the waltz part. So again, we have that little walk down, but instead of playing it as a waltz, we're gonna go back to our original sort of shuffle beat. So we got D minor. D diminished seven, D minor seven, D minor six to A. Again, D minor, D diminished seven, D minor seven, D minor six to B. And then I'm gonna count this through, the E minor, C, B, so you know how many times to play it. So we've got E minor for one, C, B, again. Again, C, D, D minor, C, D. And then we end on a glissando, glissando meaning strum the strings very slowly, so you get each string ringing out on an E minor, like this. And you have successfully played Being for the Benefit of Mr. Kite by the Beatles. Thank you. Hey everyone, thanks for watching Mahalo. To check out more Beatles videos, go to mahalo.com slash play guitar. Living.